A lot of development went into the Ruger Scout Rifle, and it's a really good one, but sure enough, somebody comes along and makes it even better. Bo Wallace is with Excess Sights on Bo. You guys took a look at that and said, hey, we could do something about that. Yeah, uh, what we decided was that, you know, that while the, uh, the original Scout mount rail was good. Right, and they had the rear sight back here. And the rear here. sight back there. They yeah. were kind of leaving a bunch of open space that wasn't doing anything. Okay. Because the original Scout mount were built on 98 Mausers and other military guns where you wanted to strip load them from the top. So it had to be open at the top. It had to be open on the top. Well, this comes from a bottom feed magazine. Okay. So what we did was we built a longer rail to give you more rail estate. Rail estate, I like it. Okay, well show me what you got there. So right now I've got you know a Leopold Scout scope on here, but that's just not the you know the end of it. You can put a traditional scope. You can mount a red dot or a red dot with night vision, just whatever you want to. Plus we also kept in the rail in the uh, rail a ghost ring sight, so you didn't even lose that feature. Pop that scope off if you would for me, because what I'm looking at here is, of course. With the scout rifle, you use an intermediate relief, eye relief scope. Mm -hmm. You mount it forward. But with this, if you said, but I've got a favorite scope I want, I want it mounted back here, no problem. If you have rings that have Picatinny rail, you can mm -hmm. put it anywhere. Well, and, and you know, while the, the scout scope's a great hunting scope, if you're doing load development or something like that, okay. or you know, this is a really accurate rifle, and so you might want yes, more magnification. Is. Yes, it is. And of course, with your built-in ghost ring sight here, it becomes very fast. Again, mm -hmm. if you had an optic or something on there and for whatever reason you wanted to take it off, you're still in business. You haven't ruined your hunt because the optic goes down, you've got good iron sights ready to go. Yep. And this works with the factory front sight. Made it the same height as the factory rear, original factory rear sights. So everything okay. zeroes the same. And then you did a, a kind of a similar thing to the lever action. Mm -hmm. uh, the little Mossberg's 464, it's a new very hot uh, selling 3030, mm -hmm. uh, very popular and we did you know, the, our ghost ring sights, front with a white stripe rear. I'm close this so we can put this down and take a look at it. That just drop onto the original scope base holes. So if you can run a screwdriver, you can install it yourself. Uh, you can, you know, compile that with a scout mount that drops on. Uh, again, it's- and Here you would want an intermediate eye relief. There you're, you're stuck with either a red dot or an intermediate eye relief. Gotcha, okay. Because this one ejects, you know, close enough out the top that- Sure, you got to move your scope or your optic forward. Forward. To give it clearance for the ejection. And you have your own front sight up there Our too. own white stripe front sight. That is a, man, that's bright. You can see that thing. And that's the thing is, you know, you can take the same animal and put them in sunlight and they're real light colored so a dark front sight works well. Mm -hmm. Put that animal at like five o'clock in a cedar thicket and you need something lighter colored to contrast against the animal. Makes sense. That makes this as fast as the lever action 3030 is, mm -hmm. this makes it even faster. Yep. So that really completes the package. A lot of options for where to put your optic, iron sights ready to go. And besides that, it's almost modernizing the classic lever action rifle. Exactly. This is a nice setup, excess sights. The 3030 lever action has probably killed more deer than any other rifle with any other cartridge out there. But it's also a great defensive weapon. It's fast, you can hold lots of ammo, and it's, it was kind of the original assault rifle back in the day when they invented lever actions. This rail gives you the option of putting a red dot, putting a scope, a long eye relief, mid eye relief scope on here. So a lot of different applications. If you like the red dot, it works for great for hogs, works great for a, a house gun, a truck gun. Um, this is set up with this medium eye relief loop hold, which is great for hunting. It gets the scope out of the way for this top ejection port. And the, the mid eye relief, a lot of people like it because they feel like they're able to pick up the, the crosshairs faster and get into that scope faster great for shooting multiple targets. So let's shoot this on target and kind of just show you what it looks like. And this is great for shooting multiple targets. This rail from Excess Sights gives you a lot of options on this gun. Excess Sights, they come up with creative solutions to improve your shooting.